हेलो लर्नर्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल श्रद्धा फिजिक्स सो हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द एस एस बी फिजिक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन द डिटेल सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ लेट अस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन द क्वेश्चन इज ए वन डायमेंशनल कपल्ड ऑसिलेटर इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू आइडेंटिकल ब्लॉक्स ईच ऑफ मास एम एंड थ्री आइडेंटिकल मासलेस स्प्रिंग्स ईच ऑफ ईच ऑफ स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट के एंड द फ्री एंड्स ऑफ द लास्ट टू स्प्रिंग्स आर कनेक्टेड टू टू पार्लर वॉल्स एंड द ब्लॉक्स कैन मूव एलॉन्ग स्ट्रेट लाइन ऑन ए फ्रिक्शनलेस हॉराइजोंटल सर्फेस देन द क्वेश्चन इज द फ्रिक्वेंसीज ऑफ द नॉर्मल मोल देन यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट बेसिकली वट आर द फ्रिक्वेंसीज ऑफ द नॉर्मल मोल सो इन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू If you will consider for a two coupled oscillator, here this one is the wall, and here another one. This is your fixed one, okay? This one is your fixed, and here the there are two masses. This one and this one is another masses, and here these are the spring attached to it, okay? And here this one is another spring, and here in the question, the all the spring constant has the same value that is k. It is given. and you know for the normal mode in general for the two coupled oscillator if this is your k prime this is another string constant that is attached to the two mass that is basically this mass and this mass with uh, so here this uh, string constant when k prime is given and here the spring attached to the wall if they have the same spring constant k then for that we have written for the normal mode of vibration omega 1 equal to that is equal to k by m root over and the omega 2 value that is equal to k plus 2k prime divided by m root over but here all the k are same that is the spring constant are same since this k prime equal to k now so simply we can write this is k plus 2k that is 3k by m root over so here there are two frequencies that is two angular frequency will get omega 2 equal to this much and omega 1 equal to this much So let us here check the answer. So from this option you can see one is k by m root over and another one is your 3k by m root over. So this is our correct answer. Now let us see the next question. The Hamiltonian of a system with one degrees of freedom is given by is given as h of x p equal to p square by 2m minus m gamma x the Poisson bracket x comma h comma h of xp is equal to how much okay now first of all i will write you have to calculate the poisson bracket for poisson bracket state again the poisson bracket of x comma h with again the hamiltonian h with the x comma p okay now first of all to write the poisson bracket first of all you have to consider this term as suppose any g term suppose so you have to take do g by do x into do h by do p minus do z by do p into do h by do x like this so first of all let me write you can write this expression as do by do x of this first term that is x comma h poisson bracket into do h by do p minus do by do p of this total term that is s comma h into do h by do x This is our expression. Now again, if I will calculate for do by do x of s comma h, I can write x comma do h by do x plus this is your h comma do x by do x. Okay. Or let me write do x by do x comma h. So that will be better. So I will write this is do x by do x comma h. And again, this is being multiplied with do h by do p minus this will be do by do p of this much. That is for that I will write this is your normal bracket. Then do x by do p with h plus x comma do h by do p. Then this whole into Do h by do x. This is just the formula you have to remember. So in this way, 
you can write for the derivative dou by dou x of x h you have to write this much and for the dou by dou p of x h you have to write this one okay now after solving you will get dou x by dou x is your 1 so 1 comma h that will give you 0 and here since you have to take the partial derivative of uh, x with respect to p so this term also goes to 0 so this first term it will goes to 0 here i will directly write so this total term goes to 0 and this total term as a whole it goes to 0 now again if you see the h value is given here yes this is your question number 2 so h term is given here this much so now if i will calculate for this so do h by do x that is equal to minus m gamma because it is uh, the partial derivative we are considering so that will be minus m gamma and for do h by do p if i will calculate this is equal to for p square by 2m that is 2p by 2m 2 to get cancelled that will be simply p by m and this minus m gamma x term goes to 0 if i will substitute these values here so that is equal to x comma so in place of do h by do x i can write this is minus m gamma term okay this is x comma minus m gamma term and the next term you can see here this is x comma do h by do p so for that you can write do h by do p is a p by m so if i will write it here so this for this do h by do p let me write first this value is your p by m so x comma p by m so you can take here common the 1 by m term can be taken common so i will directly write so for this i will write plus sorry this is minus so this minus sign so this is minus 1 by m is taken common so for this this is x comma p well into you can see here so x comma in place of dou h by dou p here i have substituted p by m 1 by m is constant taken outside so you have to simply take the poison bracket of x comma p and here dou h by dou x value is also given that is minus m gamma we have calculated so this is into minus m gamma now if i will multiply this minus sign with this minus sign that will becomes plus and that is equal to here this x comma minus m gamma term poison bracket since this m, m and gamma these are your constant that term also goes to 0 and the finally this m also get cancelled with this m x comma x x comma p poison bracket that is your delta x that is your 1 basically so here the answer will be gamma because this x comma p value will goes to 1 and this basically goes to gamma so here the answer will be equal to the gamma so you can see here the Hamiltonian is given and you have to calculate for this poison bracket. So here the we have calculated the value will be gamma. Now let us see the next question. So in this question, th question number 13, the Lagrangian, the Lagrangian of a system with 1 degree of freedom is L equal to Q dot square by 8 minus Q square by 16. So the expression for the Hamiltonian H of QP for the system is so basically the lagrangian is given and uh, you have to calculate the hamiltonian so let me write the lagrangian first the lagrangian equal to l equal to q dot square divided by 8 minus q square divided by 16 okay so you have to calculate the hamiltonian of this system so this is q square by 16 okay now if i will calculate the conjugate momentum so can we call moment p equal to this is your do l by do q dot do q dot that is your canonical momentum or the conjugate momentum that is equal to if we'll take the partial derivative that is with respect to q dot for this lagrangian then for this term only i will write 2 q dot by 8 or directly i can write q dot by 4 because 2 q dot by 8 will give you that is equal to q dot divided by 4 okay or we can write this q dot equal to 4 into p okay now you have to calculate the hamiltonian for this system so the hamiltonian can be written as h equal to p q dot minus l and also this can be written as equal to in place of q dot you can so first of all let us see just a minute yes you can see here from this option this hamiltonian is given in the form of small p and q okay this hamiltonian is a function of 
small p and q that's why you have to replace every other term present in this hamiltonian that is if you have to calculate the hamiltonian as a function of small p and q so here here you have to replace this q dot term so here q dot term we have calculated that is equal to 4 into p so that will be 4 into p square when it is multiplied with this p minus in place of l i will write this total term that is q dot square divided by 8 minus q square by 16 so this is our lagrangian it is given in our question this is our lagrangian and that is equal to 4 p square minus in place of q dot again i will put 4 p so that will be 16 p square divided by 8 minus this is q square divided by 6 since uh, hamiltonian is the function of pq i can write this is simply q square by 6 and that is equal to again see this 8 16 get cancelled that will be your 2 that is equal to 4 p square minus 2 p square this minus minus again plus q square by 16 and here 4 p square minus 2 p square equal to 2 p square and that is equal to that i'm sorry 2 p square plus q square by 16 and now we will check for the option yes this is your question number 13 we are solving so here 2p square plus q square by 16 so this is our correct answer okay now let us see the next question so here the question number 14 the hamiltonian of an oscillator is given that is uh, h equal to half p square plus q square and consider the coordinate transformation in the phase space of the system from small q small p to capital q capital p in the form small p equal to psi of capital p cos capital q and small q equal to psi of capital p into sine of capital q and here the function the form of the function psi of p which makes the transformation to be canonical is so here you have to check the psi of p equal to so basically you have to check what is the value of psi p so that the function is your canonical here you can see the hamiltonian it is in the form of harmonic oscillator that is in uh, in place of q you are writing uh, this is your 1 by 2 m omega square q square in this way you can write this is your for your classical harmonic oscillator but here in the exam you can directly click it that is uh, this is your root over 2p this is your answer but here i will explain this to you so first of all let me tell you the generating function the generating function set so where do f1 by do q when this f1 that is uh, the function that is the generating function here i am writing when this is the function of small q and capital q so its value equal to small p okay and also capital p equal to let me write do f by minus do f1 by do capital q since this is the function of small q and capital q that is equal to capital p and also for the del f2 by del q since f2 is the function of small q and capital p so here this is equal to small p and also do f2 divided by so f2 means this is the function of q and capital p so divided by do of capital p that is equal to capital q okay this one is your small p and this is your capital p this is your capital p and here do f3 that is f3 is the function of small p and capital q this is minus do f3 by do p that is equal to this is small p so this is with respect to small p here i am differentiating this value is your small q and do f3 minus do f3 by do q that is equal to capital p and the last that is the generating function do f4 that is 4 is a function of small p and capital p with respect to small p if will differentiate this is minus so that is equal to small q and do f4 divided by do capital p 
that is equal to capital Q. So basically from this four generating function, you may conclude that when you will differentiate with respect to small q, you will get small p and when you will differentiate with respect to capital Q, you will get minus capital P actually. So since here the negative sign is present, so that will be minus capital P and also when you will differentiate with respect to small p, you will get minus q when you will differentiate. This is negative sign is present here and also when you differentiate with respect to capital P, you will get plus q. Okay, so small p and small q are the old coordinate and capital Q and capital Q are the new coordinate. So now our question is the Hamiltonian is given small p small q is given you have to write you have to calculate the value of psi of p okay now let us calculate here the h value is given that is h equal to 1 by 2 p square plus q square is given okay 1 by 2 p square plus q square is given now you have to calculate h prime you know that is the new transformation of the hamiltonian can be written as this is the h of the transformation of q that is the function of capital q and capital p and also the small p now can be represented as the function of capital q and capital p okay now here let me write the small p value is given small p value let me write in this side you can see here in the question the p is psi of p cos q and q is psi of p sin q so if i will write here the small p equal to psi of p capital p cos q and small q equal to psi of p sin q okay now first of all divide this equation number 1 with the equation number 2 so now dividing this equation 1 with the equation 2 what we will get so this p by q dividing equation 1 by 2 1 by 2 so this will be p small p by small q that is equal to psi p psi p get cancelled cos by sin that is your cot q or simply we can write p equal to q cot q small p equal to small q into cot q now if i write here so let me write the small p value equal to q cot q okay now this is you can see here this function is now here it is the it depends on small q and capital q here this is the function of small q and capital q so i can write by using the generating function i can differentiate do f by do q that is equal to because you know the p value equal to small p when you can write here you can see the do a by do q equal to small p so here in place of p i can write do f by do q in place of p here i am writing do f by do q that is equal to q cot q okay or if i will integrate if i will multiply first dq in this side so this df will now equal to q cot q into dq and you have to now integrate both this term that implies f will be equal to q square by 2 into cot q plus some integration constant so let me neglect here now here f equal to this much because now again here you have to differentiate with respect to capital q so now if i will differentiate it with respect to capital q so do f by do capital q that is equal to q square by 2 this is your cos x square minus cos x square into q because here you can see here do f by do q also in this expression do f by do q equal to minus p this is your minus do f by do q equal to plus p means do f by do q equal to minus p so if i will write here so in place of do f by do q i can write this is your minus capital p that is equal to minus q square divided by 2 
कोसेक्स स्क्वेयर क्यू कैपिटल क्यू एंड ऑल्सो दिस माइनस माइनस साइन गेट कैंसल दैट इम्प्लाइज कैपिटल पी दैट इज इक्वल टू क्यू स्क्वेयर बाई टू इन टू वन बाय साइन स्क्वेयर क्यू वी कैन राइट वन बाय साइन स्क्वेयर क्यू और वी कैन राइट स्मॉल क्यू इक्वल टू टू इंटू पी रूट ओवर दिस टू कैपिटल पी रूट ओवर इन टू साइन क्यू टेकिंग द स्क्वेर रूट ऑल्सो आई विल डायरेक्टली राइट दिस क्यू स्क्वेयर इक्वल टू टू पी साइन स्क्वेयर क्यू और क्यू इक्वल टू रूट ओवर टू पी इन टू साइन क्यू एंड हियर इफ आई विल कंपेयर विद दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज क्यू इज गिवेन इन दिस इक्वेशन टू इफ यू विल कंपेयर दिस विद दिस स्मॉल क्यू इक्वल टू साई पी ऑफ साइन क्यू सो हियर द साई पी वैल्यू इक्वल टू रूट ओवर टू ओके सो दिस वैल्यू इक्वल टू रूट ओवर टू इवन डायरेक्टली राइट सो दिस इज योर आंसर दैट इज साई ऑफ पी इक्वल टू रूट ओवर टू ओके सो नो नीड टू कैलकुलेट बिकॉज इफ यू हैव सॉल्व इट मेनी मोर टाइम सो फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन यू कैन डायरेक्टली चेक द हेमिल्टोनियन इज दिस मच and this in place of psi p the question is already in the form that is root over 2p sin q and this is your root over 2p cos q is your small p and this is root over 2p into sin q is the small q so that you can directly say the psi p value equal to root over 2 otherwise you can also check from check in this way also okay now let us see the next question the the question number of question number 15 The curve y of x with y of zero equal to zero and y of one equal to one that gives the minimum value for the integral j equal to y prime square by x cube dx is how much? This is your the simple question. This here the, in this question you can see the minimum value of the integral is been asked. Okay, so for that you know for the axon integral from the variational principle we can write. so this is your since a uh, minimum value is been asked so you can write delta j equal to 0 so that i can write that implies delta of j value is given this much so this is delta of integration 0 to 1 y prime square divided by s cube dx that is equal to 0 or simply we can write for this expression we can write or this is delta of This is delta of zero to one integration is given. I can write this. This is your dy by dx. Y prime means this is your dy by this. Or let me write in this way also. This is your y prime square divided by s cube. This whole into dx. That is the whole into is uh, whole into this much. Into dx equal to zero. Why I am writing like this? Because you know, for the integration delta f of x dx that is equal to zero. Okay. So here this function f of x is here. F of x value equal to f of x equal to here y prime square divided by s cube. So for this function, for this function f of x, you have to calculate. the lagrangian that is the euler lagrangian equation you have to calculate the euler lagrangian equation to solve this expression so the euler lagrangian equation now you can write this is your d by dx of do f by do y prime minus do f by do y that is equal to 0 so for that For that you can write this uh, d by dx of do f by do y prime means if I will calculate for from this expression here do f by do y prime that is equal to so here if I will take the derivative for the y prime partial derivative so that will be two into y prime divided by x cube and do f by do y that is equal to zero since this term doesn't contain any y so this value equal to this much. If I will substitute this, then this will be d by dx of two y prime by x cube minus zero equal to zero, or directly I can write this is equal to zero because dou by dou y this term goes to zero. Now from this we can write, or since derivative of this term equal to zero, we can write two y prime by x cube. This is just some constant. Let us see c. Here c is the constant. 
Now for the if I will write this two y prime means or we can write two into dy by dx that is equal to c into this x cube term is multiplied here, so this will be c into x cube or we can also write two into dy that is equal to c into x cube into dx. Now if I will integrate this total, then this will be equal to two into dy means this is your two into integration of dy dy is your y and that is equal to c into x power 4 divided by 4 plus some integration constant that is suppose c prime and here also the boundary condition is given in this equation yes you can see this question number 50 here the boundary condition is y of 0 equal to 0 and y of 1 equal to 1 now let us take this total that is the boundary condition in here is given y of 0 equal to 0 and y of 1 equal to 1 is given that is when x value equal to 0 y value is 0 and when x value equal to 1 y value equal to 1. Now let us put first uh, for x equal to 0 when y equal to 0 if I will put this in this equation that is suppose equation number 1 then 2 into 0 is 0, c into 0 is 0, it means c prime equal to 0, that implies c prime equal to 0. And again for the second condition, that is x equal to 1, y equal to 1, so for that I can write, so here the x value is 1 and y value is 1, so this is 2 into 1 means 2 equal to c into x, x value is your 1, so this is 1 by 4, so c by 4, and here we have calculated c prime equal to 0. So this is equal to 2 equal to c by 4 simply. Since c prime equal to 0 or simply we can write c value equal to 2 into 4 that is 8. Here we have calculated the value of c and c prime. Now if I substitute these values here or we can write 2y will be equal to c value is 8. So 8 by 4 is 2 into x power 4 c prime is 0. Or we can write y will be equal to x power 4. Okay. Now we will check the option. So here. Yes you can see in this expression. Sorry in this option you can see. This expression y of x equal to x power 4. So this is our correct answer. In this way you can also solve. Okay. So this is all for today. Thank you all.